Hello and welcome to a new series of videos about IT systems, identification systems. Identification systems are everywhere. Huh? Of course, there were also everywhere always identification systems. Why are they necessary? Because you know, uh, it is very important to identify something, to find something do not have to search for, so I need to identify a piece which is packed in a box, I need to identify outside of the box what is inside, so that do not have to open all the boxes and so on. Yeah? This is why we label our, our boxes if we're moving, yeah? kitchen, yeah? living room, whatever, yeah? it's labeled just because you don't have to look inside. Yeah? That's human readable things. Yeah? They are still pretty important. Yeah? However, in industry or logistics, also by the area, there are machine readable codes necessary. Simply because machines do control the flow of items. One item has to be moved there, which item should it take? It's done by some automated system, yeah, by a robot yeah, or by some machine, automated machine. And this is distributing the correct way. Yeah. If you bring your suitcase in the airport to the counter, it will get labeled with some barcode in that case. And these countless ways and so on, and it will be directed exactly to your plane, hmm? automatically. So the machine needs to read the identification of this suitcase. And this machine able identification systems we are going to talk about. Yeah? They are tremendously important in logistics and also in the so-called uh, just-in-time manufacturing. Yeah? You must imagine, let's make a typical example, is always a car. Yeah? So we do have somewhere, let's say we have a plant, where our car is manufactured. Yeah? Then we are getting in, we need some sheet metal there. Yeah? Car usually is made from sheet metal. So we have some delivery person, yeah? sheet metal. Delivery person, that's called. Yeah? Then we could make the chassis. Yeah? And then we need we need tires, we need a steering wheel, we need a dashboard, we need a gearbox, we need an engine, we need we need we need we need we need we need, we need. and in the end there will be the car. Yeah? So there is somewhere a, a manufacturer who is producing headlamps. There is somewhere a manufacturer who is uh, producing the engine, the gearbox, yeah? the entertainment system. A lot of manufacturers, yeah? or let's say places where those are, are produced, yeah? and they are going to deliver their products to our mounting. Yeah? So this is goods. Yeah? And there is always also, information flow in between. There we have again interfaces, you know, last series of videos, interfaces. Yeah, and here in the end, we will get our car, which also has to be distributed to somewhere. Yeah? Because if you order a car, you can order, you know, you can order the seats, the color of the seats, the material of the seats, if they are heated, if they are cool, you can order. Uh, the, the extras, you can order an extra uh, winter tire, you can order a different type of headlamps, you can order even, of course, the color, even even some bars, if there should be chrome or, or not, or whatever, yeah, you can, you can really personalize, personalize your car. Yeah? And at that exact moment, when your car is built there, yeah, you have the correct steering wheel, you have the correct engine, you have the correct pop, 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 the correct things mounted together. Yeah? I mean, if this is not working without 
identification. I have to identify this part. This is the correct part for this car. This, it's incredible that this is working. Huh? Yeah, but it does. Huh? It does. So this is why we do have to use identification systems, ID systems. Huh? We are going to talk about different types of identification systems. We're talking about uh, barcodes. Uh, we're talking about 2D codes. Uh, and we're talking about RFID, radio frequency ID decks. Uh, those three parts we're going to talk about. In the Arduino kit we are using, there is an RFID and we will use this RFID to make a key, something like this. Huh? That's it. Huh? Identification systems. Why they are used. Huh? Next few units will be about barcodes. Huh? We're talking about different types of barcodes because there is not only one barcode. There are different types. They are different. We, I will try to explain a little bit the difference. Uh, and where the why they are different hmm? then we're going to talk about two d codes yeah? and then in the end we're talking about rfid and we make an example or we'll try this with our arduino ah, for this time thank you very much for listening goodbye <laughs>